Hey friends, welcome back to my playthrough of The Witcher 3. I hope you're all well and enjoying the heat. I'm not, unfortunately. Um, freaking hate. I think I mentioned this in the other video. I hate the summer, I hate the heat. I'm covered in heat rashes, like all up my legs and everything from where I work in and stuff. Because I, I work in a factory, so I have to wear like toe cap boots and freaking woolly socks to keep the boots on and stuff. And I'm just constantly scratching my legs. I've ripped all my skin off my chins from like scratching them and everything in my feet it's really annoying i hate summer i hate it with a passion i really do but hey you're all enjoying the weather or are you like me do you hate it as well it's literally there's, there's nothing you can do about it so it does my head in right anyway what am i doing world map no quest what's this Oh, that's uh, the go to Skellig one, isn't it? Wasn't there a quest I had to do in here? No, I've done it. Okay. Right, quest. What shall we do? I don't want to do a main quest at the moment. So look at some... I'm in Novigrad, aren't I? So look around the area. While I'm in Dream Food, it's only what war everything. I think I've, I've put this one on before, didn't I? And it's the one that's... All the way down there. So I'm not going to do that one. Uh I could do this one actually. Use the past the cons the Pontia, the Pontar, which is again maybe not because that's all the way down there. Thou shall not pass. Thou shall not pass. Okay, so that's two different things. Okay, so I won't do that one. Uh, Play in Keats, Fist of Fury, Big City Players to volunteer. Yeah, I've just looked at that one. Swords and dump. That's the one I can't do yet because I'm too low level. Follow the thread. While one following in the bits of Novigrad's worst, most terror slum, the witcher took a contract for months to put an murders under cover of darkness at the time. But the story starting in the gutter would end in a luxurious manner. Okay. Uh, can I do this one? Uh, yes, I can. So this is the one I'm going to do. Every time I hear manor or something like that, I always think back to Alundra. Just makes me think of London. I really want to play that game. I'm, bit, I'm keeping an eye out for it because uh, I love London. Me and my friend Bod, we um, used to play that game a lot. I love it. So, uh, I like the second one as well. The second one wasn't a bad game, but the first one it was, it was more the style that I like because it, it was sort of like the same style as Final Fantasy VI, like the graphics and everything, like. If I remember correctly, it wasn't. It was like sort of 2D. I think it was a little bit more 3D and, and stuff. But it oh, there's a quest here as well. It were really good. I love games like that. Going on here. What's this about? This Dwan sold Fistech to some young elves. A contaminated batch that killed every other user. Lies. They need to kill me. Oh, um. Help me. Please. What you sold was poison. Shame you went there to see the young lad and others expire amidst spasms. You, all of you, to an elf. You despise humans, seek vengeance on us. But can you fault us? Fault me for your civilization's downfall? Shut your mouth, poisoner. Oh, um. I'm going to check if he's carrying fist tech. Need to see if this man's actually carrying any fist tech. We've done that already. Checked everywhere, even his boots. Nothing. The bastard sold it, which hardly makes him innocent. Oh, do I condemn him to death for selling drugs? Because I hate drugs. Or do I let him go because there's no proof? Oh, man, decisions, decisions. So what if he is a drug dealer? And I do the right decision, but what if he isn't? What if he isn't an innocent man? But I sort of believe the elves. I'm going to take the elves' word for it that he is a drug dealer and that he deserves to die. Just the sale of Fistek is bad enough, but offering contaminated powder, it's malicious. Something that has to carry punishment. No, don't let them murder me. You can't. Have I done the right thing? Thank you, Vadgan, for letting us do what was only right. Buffet. 
I think I have. I think I've done the right decision. What are you growling at? I want to search his body. Okay, I can't. Okay. I think I've done the right decision there. I hope I have. Anyway, I was condemned an innocent man to death. But I'm guessing how the way it ended that it was the right decision and he was a, uh, a drug dealer. So he deserved to die. Don't like folk wandering around here. Oh, yeah? Well, got a beast you need someone to get rid of? I'm here about the notice. Huh. Truth was a London post again. Yeah, a beast haunts the outskirts, murdering folk. But I'm scared to leave their homes after oh. dusk. Right, can I talk to the supervisor? I'd like to talk to this supervisor. Too bad he don't receive petitioners. Oh, you're a bit of an arse. Delivers relief on behalf of the city council, flour and growth for the paupers. Meaning he don't do it personally. He's got men for that. He himself, he were... Supervisors. <laughs> okay. I aim to hunt down this monster. Best hurry, then some other bloke's already after it. Ooh, who? Who took the contract? Didn't see the man. Was just told some brave fool to. Dandelion. <laughs> Any eyewitnesses to these attacks? No, just the body. Beast appears only at night. Chooses isolated victims. When do you find the last victim? Just last night. She were a beggar, but a decent man. I'd let him sleep in the shed from time to time. That one on the right. Eustace hasn't come for the corpse yet. He's lying in there where I found him. Okay, so long. No, so you, you let this beggar sleep. In um, the shed, that's nice. It reminds me of the story that I read. I can't remember if it was over here or in America, but um, there was this homeless guy, and this police officer was getting a bit of aggro because he used to arrest him on false charges in the winter just so he could have a warm cell to sleep in for the night and like, have breakfast in the morning. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's just a uh, Nostrix. Oh, hello. Whoa, what the frick? They're big bloody prints. Is it a dragon or something? Not the marks of a Garcane or a Flutter. We're going to get ourselves drunk, drunk, drunk. Blood's all sucked out. A lesser vampire. Uh, that's um, that can't be a vampire man. Look, look at the size of the footprints; they're far too huge. Oh, to me! Oh, there's a, did you say there's treasure chests under there? I'll be right back. Oh, Geralt, why don't you dive in? You know when you're holding square <coughs> to dive, <coughs> but you won't do it. Fine. Okay, so get Geralt doesn't want to go get the treasure chest that's under there just yet. That's fine. No problem, Geralt. We'll just uh, do it your way for now. <coughs> God damn it, my throat. I've had this throat infection for about a week and a bit now. It seems to be clearing up every so often. I keep getting like, really? There we go. I keep getting like my throat blocked. It's really annoying. Blood, but not human. Monster was wounded. Tracks end here. Ought to look for prints on the other side. Find the place where they must emerge from all to use in a witch sense. Okay, so. Come on, go. The, the treasure chest is literally right there. Oh, 
that's annoying that is that I can't swim underwater because I'm doing a quest. It shouldn't matter if I'm doing a quest or not. I should be able to dive underwater at a whim. I'm guessing then he come up on the other side of this. Ah, no, 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 there's footprints there, look. Found him. Oh, they're rat. Are they dead rats? Rat corpses. <coughs> Not a drop of blood left in them. Gotta be an Ekimara. Ekimara? What the... What the frick was that? Ah, so this is an Ekimara. Ah, there's the other hunter, look. Hello. How am I getting... I wonder who this other hunter is. The kill is mine, friend. Oh, we got less. Oh, okay. Don't let me uh, look what it was. Greetings, Lambert. Lambert. Yeah, it's good to see you. Decide to do some hunting in the Overgrad, for as I remember, I never liked the city. Still He's had his hair cut. Thing is, I got a certain matter to take care of. Uh, where have you been? What have you been up to? What have you been up to? Any luck on the path? <coughs> a lot, in fact. Quite the takings in Lanexis. Was asked to hunt down a giant, who turned out to be a forest troll, and some bandits. <laughs> bandits? Came as a package with the troll. The matter you mentioned. Anything I can help with? Hmm. Maybe. But we'll talk about that later. Got our reward to collect. I'm kind of in a hurry. Let's say you've earned half for now. Uh, I'll join you in a second. Join you for that later. Wait up for me. Fine, but try not to take too long. Know where the supervisor has his office? Yeah, had a chat with the guardsman outside it. See you there. He's um, got a different voice actor as well, hasn't he? What's he got? Mutagen, Monster Ear. Oh, Vampire Sliver. Vampire Fang. <coughs> My voice is going again. I'll take it off. But nevertheless, it's nice to see a, a friendly face. Burnt bread. What? <coughs> White Wolf Hide. That's not nice. Right, so I've searched the body. That's what I wanted to do. Maybe now I can pick up this goddamn. Oop, I just uh, there it is. Yeah, now I can swim underwater. Come on, I'm holding X. Swim faster, Geralt. Come on. What have we got? Oh, dwarven blade, tracker's trousers, dark iron or enhanced grape shot. Uh, hold circle. I want to have a look at this new sword. Dry land. Alright, let's have a look. Right, it was this one, wasn't it? Igni sign intensity, adrenaline point gained, critical hit. It's uh, better than my Wild Hunt sword-ish, isn't it? I mean, I've got the armor piercing, which obviously is better. Um, critical hit damage bonus, critical hit chance, armor piercing. Do I want to equip it? I'm going to equip it. And what's this sword? Magnarium. Mine's a little bit better. What's this one? Mine's a lot better. Okay. Interesting. Uh, sorry, I was having a, uh, a drink of coffee, try and clear my throat a bit. I hope I'm not getting ill again. It's my birthday this week. I don't want to be ill for my birthday. Let's collect our reward. So, what do you think? We did what we had to do. Time to pay up. Wait here, I'll go see the supervisor and get your reward. Do that ourselves. 
No reason you should abandon your post. <laughs> Somewhere else is cracking. Our next mission is a lot deeper than what it is. I think Lambert's got something to do with his supervisor, Auntie. He's in money. Whoa, they're green pants. We dealt with the monster at the docks. Here for our reward. Witches? Since when do you travel in pairs? A lot of dangers lie in wait for a lone witcher. Bandits, for example. Ah. I advise you to change your tone. Was he set up by him? Yad Carradin. Talk. Uh, Yad Carradin. Who? Trust me, Geralt, this is important. There's something I gotta know. I do not know any Carradin. Take your coin for the before and bugger off. Before I lose my temper. Where's Yad Carradin? Asking you for the last time. Guards! To the dungeon with them! Oh, uh, that escalated quickly. Don't worry, really, Lambert, I'll deal with these. <laughs> oh, you're odd, aren't you? Punching your hand. Oh, I chopped his hand off. Well, that, um. That was nice and simple. Why do they have magic swords? Okay, okay. Let's go find old. Gr oh, no, this way. Let's go find green pants. This guy's more trouble than the Ekimara. Carradine's disappeared. I swear. The others too. Uh, I only know of Bien. What about Bien? She drinks at the Seven Cats. They're day and night. See, you can be helpful. Oh, what's going on with Lambert? Uh, gonna explain what this is about. That was murder. Was that really necessary? Yes. More guardsmen chosen. Let's go. Meet me at the Seven Cats. I'll tell you everything there. <coughs> the Tavern of the End frequents. Yeah. See you later. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Where's that dead body? I want to see if he's got anything of use on him. Pearls at the north, we'll take it. Where's that dead body? Where's old green pants? Oh, hello, we've got a, another new sword. Okay, that's a lot better than uh, my dwethering. Uh, for odd sign, odd sign, critical hit, damage, critical hit, and another chance to freeze. And it's got three, that one's got three runes as well. Nice. Well, I've quit this little beastie. Uh, chance to poison. Chance to cause bleeding. I wonder if I quit all these onto. I want to put them on this one actually, because I think it would be more useful. Humans are more tolerable to uh, poison, aren't they, than monsters? What's these? But I wonder if, if I put fire stones onto there. Let's have a look. So it's what? 4% chance to poison and... So guys, my foot's itching. It's these bloody heat rashes I've got on my feet. It's they're really annoying. I just want to scratch my feet to death. And like my my shin. Get my head in. Right. I keep saying I really do hate the summer. My cats aren't the biggest fan as well. Well ghost seems to be Gadavan tonight in um outside. But Gimli seems to be getting frustrated and flustered by the heat, bless him. There's no cool place for him to try and hide it. He's like going under drawers and in my bookcases and everything, trying to get away from the heat. Look at 
run, dear, run. I'm literally just going as straight as the crow flies here. And we made it. Whoa. There you are. All right, high time you explain some things. Why do you kill Lund? What's this all about? Want the short version or the long one? Uh, want to hear it or? Let me hear the whole thing. I had a friend. Aiden was his name. You had a friend? Uncle fucking hilarious. I met him soon after I'd accepted a contract to lift the curse from the ogre of the land. Aiden had been hired to kill him. He was a witcher in the school of the cat. As far as I remember, the ogre was killed in the end. Yeah. After it gutted my employer, we really didn't have a choice. I cut a deal with Aiden. We joined forces, split the reward for killing the ogre between us. After that, we worked together a lot. Hands down the best man I'd ever <laughs> I mean, I like you, you know that. Still, no comparisons. Okay. What happened to him? Some time ago, Aiden took on a contract to lift a curse off a duke's daughter. It was a political mess from the start. Then there was hatred for the school of the cat to do. They worked hard to deserve that hate. Basically turned hired assassins. Aiden wasn't like that. Anyway, some of the Duke's courtiers had designs. Weren't at all keen on the curse being lifted from the Duke's firstborn. So a band of trained assassins ambushed Aiden. Murdered him. Our dear supervisor was one of them. And yet Kara did. The assassin's leader. And the one to deal the mortal blow. Oh, okay. So he's um. Don't need your sympathy, just your help. I'll help him. Must have had enough to drink by now. Let's go. Oh, okay. That's actually quite sad. The end. What do you want? We want to see Yad carry him. <laughs> <laughs> now, why would I help you? Uh, because we're asking you nicely. It's really important to my friend here. And what will I get out of it? Pay for your beer, for starters. Then we'll see how valuable your information is. I was part of Caradin's band, but when was that? I don't know where to find him. I've fallen out with a lot. Who's that drunk behind me? Besides, he's no longer chummy with his old mates. Word around town is it changed. Okay, what do you mean changed? Caradin's changed. What do you mean? He's dropped all his old connections. Stopped taking on petty killings. He's hidden himself away in some hole. Must be planning something big. Who else was in Keridan's band? Aside from me, Sleaze, Hammond, and Lund. But they scattered all over the world. Sleaze went to Tretical, Hammond to Skellige, and Lund. Lund's dead. <laughs> Finally met his match. <laughs> well, you've only Hammond or Sleeves to talk to you then. Okay, uh, tell, why did you join them? What about you? What's your story? Spoiler tell. Unit was decimated, so I joined Caradin. They never treated me as an equal. No. I could hit a sparrow from a hundred. Aces. But I was never good enough for Caradin. He was a bit of a cancer. You have a hand in the murder of the Witcher, Aiden? Perhaps. I don't remember. Okay. Whoa, that was a bit of a transition, wasn't it? We need information. Oh, she's getting drunk. Caradin's right hand man once. When the 
Saban broke up, he went back to fair. I won't see it come. He's a pirate now. Even the elves suspect. This is Celise. Where can we find her? She's done well for herself. Runs a brothel in Treasure The kind rich men frequent. Or suck information out of them. Then she sells it. Name of this brothel. The Black Lily. Celie's always <laughs> did have horrible taste. Satisfied? She doesn't know anything. We need to talk to Hammond and Celie's. Don't go looking for Karazin. If he senses you nipping at his heels, he'll kill you without batting an eye. Really? As for you. I'm going to let her live. Um, or do I do what he thinks right? I don't think he's going to kill her. But then he might do. I'm going to let her live. No, Lambert. Right. It's better to leave her like this. What about my coin? Awesome. <laughs> ah, so he agreed with me. So that's not going to cause no tension or anything. That's good. you got to help me, Geralt. Best thing will be to split up. You sail the Skellige. Try to squeeze something out of hand. I'll go to Tredegor and meet the Solis. Okay, we need to talk first, though. Lambert, let's talk about this. No, let's not. This is one of those situations, serious situations, where you don't ask unnecessary questions and just help your friend. Where will we meet once I'm back? At the Nowhere Inn. All right, I'm off. Good luck. So we've got quite a bit of stuff that's taken um, us to Skellig, isn't there? That's fine. Oh, look at the cat! Meow! So that's another boat I've got to head to Skellig for. Oh, the cat! Meow! 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 <laughs> Sorry. My cat would be looking at me like, what the frick are you doing, you stupid idiot? Stupid idiot. Oh, that's a bit random, isn't it? Finding a... A Quen sign. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, wow. Three of them. Can I just sit and play with the cats? That is. Oh, oh there's another one. One, two. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, wow. I'm, I'm literally in heaven right now. There's a ton of cats. That is awesome. So it's a shame that they don't like me. It really is. Right. Okay, what quest can I do now? Because I, I don't want to go to Skellig just yet. But I'm going to end this episode here. And I think in the next episode I'm going to do some Witcher contracts. Or should I do some treasure hunts? Because I'm sure there's a... Yeah, there is a, a, a cat school item. But I think I'm going to try and do... Oh, do I want the wolf gear? Or... The dead had no defence. Never find a treasure in the catacombs using your witch sensors. I think I'm going to try and do some of these treasure hunts in the next episode. Um, so I'm going to end this one here. Go get myself a quick coffee and some breakfast. And I'll see you all in that episode. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you later. Take care. Bye.